In this problem, we're given the equation of a line ax equals by minus c, and b is not equal to zero. And we're asked to find the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, we're going to basically solve this for y and write it in the form mx plus b. Because once we do that, we know that m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So I'm going to start by writing this down again over here. So this is ax equals by minus c. We want to isolate this term here with the y. So let's add c to both sides. So plus c plus c. So we get ax plus c equals by. I come up here and write it backwards. It's really by equals ax and then plus uh, capital C. And we're looking for y and it's being multiplied by b and we know b is not zero. So we can divide both sides by b but instead of dividing this entire side we can just divide each piece. Just an easy shortcut. These cancel. So we get y equals this is a over b, so a over b times x, and then uh, this will be plus c over b, just like that. Okay. All right. So uh, now we can use matching, right? Because uh, we know this is in the form y equals mx plus little b, and so we know m is the slope, so little m is equal to big A over big B, and that is the slope. That's one of our answers, and the other answer is this one, that's the y-intercept. So the y-intercept, in this case, is equal to big C over big B. Now you can write this as an ordered pair. Keep in mind that this is your y. So that's going to come over here. That'll be your y. And then comma zero. That'll be your x. Whenever you have the y-intercept, the x value is always zero. So that would be the y-intercept. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.